The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. On May 9, Western Armenia celebrates its National Constitution Day, 20th session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia. Shushi was liberated 42 years ago. Forty pillars were installed in the Armenian-Azerbaijan demarcation line. Anahit Manasan participated in the annual session of the Global Alliance of National Human Rights Institutions in Geneva. Fictional history. On May 9 is the Constitution Day of the Republic of Western Armenia, which is of central importance in the state calendar of Western Armenia. May 9 is a really important day for Armenians because that day celebrated Russia's victory over Nazi Germany in 1945, the liberation of Shushi in 1992, and the adoption of the National Constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia in 2016. January 19 expresses our will and determination to have an independent state and essentially the birthday of our state, while May 9 is about what our state is or should be. The Constitution is about uh, the general strategic ideas about the state, about the functioning of the key mechanisms of the state about the rights and responsibilities of a person and a citizen. The essence and spirit of the Constitution of the Republic of Western Armenia are two highest values, state and man, and constitutionally is the expression of harmony and unity of these two values. The Constitution is the main guarantor of the rights and freedoms of a person and a citizen, and at the same time the claimant of realizing the individual duty of each of us, because rights, freedoms and independence are first of all the highest responsibility. On May 8, the regular session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia took place on the Skype online platform. During the session, the chairwoman of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, Nelly Harutsunyan, made an opening speech presented the agenda. With the participation and advice of Armen Petoyan, who is the chairman of the National Committee for Culture, Art, Heritage and Traditional Knowledge of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, a number of preparatory issues were discussed in order to participate in the flash mob entitled Komitai San Hayazdan in the coming months, especially in August and September. During the session, the chairwoman of the National Assembly presented also the meeting, which took place at half past nine on the topic of the eighth anniversary of the National Constitution of Western Armenia. During a session, a number of current agenda issues were also discussed. Shushi was liberated 32 years ago. One of the greatest achievements in the annals of the Artsakh Liberation War was the liberation of Shushi. 32 years ago, on the night of May 8, the order to attack was instructed and the liberation of the fortress city of Shushi began in four directions. The liberation of Shushi was a unique military operation. The city considered impregnable was surrounded by mountains on four sides. Shushi was protected by a well-armed Azerbaijan garrison with about 2,500 soldiers and officers. The liberation of the city began with about 3,000 Armenian soldiers. In military practice, such a combination of forces was absurd because in such cases the personnel of the attacking side should be at least three times larger than the defending side. It should be also noted that the Armenian side liked quality and modern weapons. According to the memories of the commander of the operation, the legendary Argadite Tadevoisan, it was planned to enter the city on May 5, but there was a lot of snow that day. The weather normally forced the Armenian command to carry out the operation on May 8. On May 9, the Armenian flag already was flying on the ruined tomb of St. Ghazanchenso's church. And even in 2020, the aggressive were unleashed by Azerbaijan. The occupation of Shushi cannot be downplayed in 1992. The role and significance of the historical events of May 8 and May 9. Forty pillars were installed in the Armenian Baku border. Forty borders for posts have already been installed in the Tavush Gazak section of Armenian Baku demarcation line. Reports from the government of Eastern Armenia. As of May 6, uh, 40 pillars were installed on the demarcation line of Armenian and Baku based on geodetic measurements within the framework of coordinated adjustment work. The work of the expert groups of two countries continues, said the message. The border delimitation process in Tavush is accompanied by the protest. The protest Testing residents of Tavu state that serious security problems are being created for them. Meanwhile, the government of Eastern Armenia claimed that the security risks are decreasing with the demarcation. The National Council of Western Armenia reminds that the demarcation for Armenian nation can be done only on the basis of nationality, subjectively taking into account the massacres and crimes committed by Azerbaijan against the Armenian civil and population since 1920. Basing the border demarcation exclusively on the administrative principle means with washing all the criminal states that directly or indirectly participated in the genocide committed against Armenians. 
On 8 March, I participated in the annual meeting of the Global Alliance of National Human Rights Institutions in Geneva. Human Rights Defender Anait Manasyan is in Geneva to participate in the annual meeting of the Global Alliance of National Human Rights Institutions. According to the Human Rights Defender Statement, the Alliance monitors the compliance of the activities of the National Human Rights Institution with the Paris principles and also contributes to the development and protection of human rights. On May 6, the representatives of the regional networks of national human rights institutions and the Bureau of the Global Alliance of National Human Rights Institutions met. Particip Participants exchange best practices and knowledge. The Defender has reached a number of agreements on further cooperation with partners who are a member of the European Network of National Institutions and has expressed readiness to actively engage in new initiatives. The session of the General Assembly of the European Network of National Human Rights Institutions was also held on May 6. The discussion agenda included a number of issues related to protection of human rights and the rule of law. Anahit Manasyan also participated in the discussion devoted to the topic of protection of human rights, defenders and heads of representatives of ombudsman institutions. The participants presented the challenges and obstacles they face in their countries during the implementation of the activities, the message status. Parallel to the policy of the Armenianization genocide committed against Armenians in their historical homeland and forced deportation, Baku continues the policy of territorial, historical, and cultural ambitions against the historical homeland and cultural heritage of the Armenian people. These are a set of unaccessible actions, the purpose of which is the annihilation of the Armenian trace. Western Armenia TV has rapidly reported that Baku invents history and targets Western Armenia. Baku's focus is on the assumption that in Fake news is repeated over and over again, especially in the absence of information. To the contrary, in revealing the truth, then the fake gradually becomes the accepted option and eventually in gradually seen as right. This is the purpose of the continuous claims of the current Baku authorities regarding having Western and Southern Azerbaijan territories. They are aimed at the goal of owning the historical past of their own country, Azerbaijan, and then gradually taking over the neighboring territories, claiming that the so-called ancient lands of the territory are the homeland and historic birthplace of Azerbaijan's continually strengthening the theories they want to be equal to Western Army. However, Western Army has a centuries-old history and culture, barely 100 years old. Azerbaijan wants to have the same ambition as the state that make history. This was all for today and I wish long-lasting victories and peace to Armenia.